Hi, Grace Church. It's Meg. I miss y'all. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's taken the time to write a letter or send words of encouragement to me throughout the year. Every time I hear from somebody at Grace, it lifts my spirits and makes my day. So thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you again soon, and thank you in person. Now to tell you a little bit about my time as a young adult volunteer in New Orleans. I've been serving as the YAV at Eden House, which is a recovery home for women who are survivors of human trafficking. While I've worked there, we've served women ages 18 all the way up to mid 50s, and we can serve up to 16 women at a time. So as you can imagine, 16 women, all different ages, all different stages of the recovery process, the job can be a little hectic and it has challenged me and forced me to grow in ways that I didn't know were possible. I never thought that I would connect with these women so much and come to care about them so deeply. As you know, we come from wildly different backgrounds. I grew up in a mostly white, upper middle class suburban environment where I always knew I had a family that would support me no matter what but the same is not true for the women of Eden House. Most of them did not have happy childhoods and many of them started using drugs and alcohol at a very young age. I've heard from a lot of our residents that Eden House is the first place they've been made to feel worthy of love and grace. It's the first real family they've ever had. I feel blessed to have been a part of our residents' lives and to have maybe touched them in some small way and they have touched me. Because of our residents, I feel that I've grown enormously in my ability to empathize, to be a compassionate listener, to extend grace, to forgive, and to love. And I've learned to celebrate every victory, whether big or small. One of our residents recently got a job at a recovery clinic where she's able to help other people who have had similar experiences as her. Another resident recently used her voice to tell her truth in court and help put her abuser behind bars. And another resident was able to reconcile with her family after spending more than 15 years apart. I feel so lucky to have had my time as a YAV and to have seen these women grow so much in a short time due to the love and compassion they've been shown while in our program. Even though Eden House is not explicitly a worshiping community, I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit there every day, working to transform lives, including my own. So thank you so much to Grace Church for making this possible, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.